Welcome back to a new episode of Paint with Michelle. We are continuing our series of Cool Cats and Kittens with this month's piece entitled Year of the Tiger. This piece is inspired by the Chinese Zodiac in honor of the Lunar New Year and my appreciation for late 1990s Asian cartoons. While we will be painting for this piece, you will also need supplies to draw the initial design, including pencils, erasers, and objects to trace with. Lunar New Year, which is sometimes called Chinese New Year, is celebrated by at least one-fourth of the world's population, which is around two billion people. Lunar New Year celebrations mark the start of the Chinese lunar solar calendar, which falls around the end of January or start of February on the first new moon of the year, and lasts 16 days until the start of the Lantern Festival. Each year, an animal and attributes are assigned in a 12-year repeated cycle. For 2022, the zodiac animal is the tiger, or hu. The tiger is a symbol of strength, exercising evils, and braveness. In Chinese element theory, each zodiac sign is associated with one of the five elements, metal, wood, water, fire, or earth. For example, 2022 is the year of the water tiger, which is a combination that comes once in a 60 year cycle. Those born under the water tiger have a strong sense of self-esteem and learning ability. Now let's gather all our supplies and get started. First, we'll need a 16 inch by 20 inch canvas in the portrait position. In this video, I will be priming my canvas with a white gesso and sponge brush this will help with the application of paint later on. The first acrylic paints we need are a bright red and a dark red. You can purchase separate colors like the cobbler red here and the regular red, or you can mix your own colors. You will also need orange acrylic paint. I like to mix mine with a little bit of scarlet to give it a reddish orange color. Next, you'll want to make sure you have a good white acrylic that is very opaque and a black acrylic. For the last of our acrylic paints, you will need a yellow and a bright gold. For this painting, we will also be using a black paint marker to outline our shapes. You will also want to get all your brushes ready. In this episode, I will be using a flat brush, a rounded brush, and a detail brush. You'll also need some water and paper towels to clean off your brushes. As we are drawing our design, you will need some sharpened pencils and different sizes of round objects to trace, like a paper plate, rolls of tape, lids, and caps all make great tracers. The recommended sizes of the round objects will be listed in the description below. Finally, as we will be adding the Mandarin characters of Lao Hu, or tiger in Chinese, you'll want to print out a reference in order for you to copy. For our first step, we will prime the canvas with the white gesso. By applying this, it helps with the application of paint so we don't need as many coats as we typically would apply. Once dry, take the paper plate and trace around the center of the canvas to create the tiger's head. Next, trace two 3-inch circles on the top of the head to make ears and then 2.5-inch circles inside the larger circles. face appear more cat-like, elongate the sides of the head. Next, trace two one and a half inch circles inside the head to make the eyes. 
To create lanterns, use a roll of tape around four and a half inches and trace at the top of each side of the canvas. Now, draw a large curved line on the bottom of the face to create the muzzle area. Then, draw a upside down triangle with rounded corners for the nose and then draw a happy mouth with a tongue sticking out. For the next part, carefully freehand a larger circle around the outside of each eye. Next, draw a line from the end of the muzzle to create shoulders to the edge of the canvas. Then in the center, make an hourglass shape to create the chest area. Behind the shoulders, draw a horizon line and then add some brackets and other details to the lanterns. To make the tufts of fur, draw three wave lines at the top center of the head. Then finally, add curved lines to the lanterns and we'll be finished with our drawing. Using the dark red acrylic, paint from the line at the shoulders down to the edge of the canvas. Then paint the top background in a bright red color. You can add a drop of white to red to add more contrast between the two shades. You may want to paint two to three coats to get rid of all the visible brush strokes. Now mix some bright red with orange and paint the lanterns. Mix a little orange with yellow and paint the brackets. This will be the base coat to help with the gold later on. Now get the orange acrylic and paint the tiger's body, head, and ears with two to three coats. Now paint the center of the eyes and the nose black. Now paint the inner ear, outer eyes, muzzle, and chest with the white acrylic or even the gesso. It's okay to paint over the lines that we drew. Once dry, take a pencil and draw curved triangles on the shoulders and face to make the stripes. Then fill in the stripes with black paint. Be sure to add a few lines on the forehead. Once the black paint is dry, take the white paint and carefully try to create anime style eye sparkles to give your tiger character. Finally, Paint the lantern brackets with a top coat of gold acrylic and add streamers coming out of them. Now go ahead and grab the black paint pen and outline the entire shape of the tiger, the stripes, and the lanterns. You'll also want to carefully trace the lines for the mouth and the tongue that we had originally drawn. If you make a mistake with a paint pen, use a detail brush to fix the areas. Finally, fill in the tongue with red paint. Don't forget to outline the lanterns and then get your reference ready for the final part. Carefully copy the Chinese characters for tiger or lao hu with the paint pen. You can copy with a pencil first if you're nervous to start with the paint pen. Take your time and make your final touch-ups, and then when you have everything done to your liking, go ahead and add the year or your signature to the bottom of the canvas. Just remember that no two paintings will be exactly the same, so have fun customizing your tiger painting. Thank you for watching this episode of Paint with Michelle. See you next month for our next Meowsterpiece.